Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. I want to show you real quickly how we can create a new Flex project in Flash Builder 4. So let's go into the file new and then we'll see Flex Project. If you don't see Flex Project there, you're probably just in a different perspective. You can click other and then type Flex and then you'll see it there. When we create a new Flex project, we need to give it a name. We'll just call this one Hello World. And then we can select if we want it to be a web application or a desktop application. I'll leave it as a web application. And now we can just hit finish. So now we're creating our basic Flex project. This will get us started on creating a plain old Flex application. So in this application, there's two different ways that we can build the UI for our application. There's the design view and the source view. Let's go over into design view. In the design view, I get a palette where I can take components like a button and then drag them onto the screen. And we can position them where we want them. If we switch back to source view, we see that all that have, has happened is we've created a button declaratively in the MXML language. Let's go and change the label property to be hello world. And before we run this application, we need to save it so that it compiles. Once it's compiled, what it's done is it's created this application in compiled form as a Swift file here in this bin debug folder. So now when I run this application, just going to open up this Swift file and the surrounding HTML page in my browser. So there we go, we see our button that says hello world. Let's go in and add some interactivity to this button. To do that we can set event handlers. All objects have numerous events that we can handle. The button has a click event. So let's go in and add a click event handler to the button. So what I'm going to do is actually open up this button tag and then add the click handler. So now in my click handler I'm going to just make a real simple change. What I want to do is change the label of the button to something else. In order to do that, I need to give this button an ID so that I can reference it. So we'll set the ID here to just B. Now what I can say is B.label equals, and then let's create a string, we'll say clicked. So now let's save this, and then we just go back to the browser and reload. And now in this application, once we click that button, the label changes to clicked. It's a very simple application. I want to show you one other thing that we can do. Now that we actually have an executable line of code here in ActionScript, I can now set a breakpoint on this line, and then when I run this application, I'm going to say debug as a web application. Now this is running in debug mode, and we haven't hit the breakpoint yet. So as soon as we click this button, we actually hit the debugger breakpoint, and Flash Builder will ask us, do you want to go into the debugging perspective? Say yes, and now we can actually see the stack trace, we can see variables, we can set up expressions, and set conditional breakpoints, uh, evaluate expressions, number of other things. So this makes it really easy for us to begin building Flex applications.